In the early days of shipbuilding, workers would take their hats and they would cover them with tar and they would set them in the sun. That's what protected their noggins from the objects that were falling from the decks above on the ships. Nowadays, you can leave the tar at home, you can set it aside. Uh, today's hard hats are comfortable, they're easy to wear, and they're safe. And most of our clients, they're looking for protection from falling objects, like this. This is type one protection. Now, if you're also looking for impact from the side, like say a guy at the driving range or maybe a major league baseball player, go Royals, then you're gonna want some type two protection. But impact isn't the only safety concern. Some of you have to worry about electrical hazards as well. And the most protective hard hat on the market for that is class E, that's what I'm wearing now. It's rated up to 20,000 volts. If you were to touch an electrical terminal, you would be totally protected. However, I would highly recommend not doing that. So you've got your E, your electrical hard hat. The next level down from that is G, or your general hard hat. It is rated up to 2,200 volts. After that, you've got your type C. Now type C, I highly recommend because it is vented. It can be vented. It does not have any conductive protection though. However, in Florida, at the end of October, like it is now, when you're sweating, these are a much better choice. All right, so let's look at some other do's and don'ts. Say you wanna wear your hat backwards, like my friend David here. So if you wanna flip it around, perfectly fine, as long as your hard hat has this little symbol right here that looks like they want you to recycle it. It's not what it means. It means that you can take this suspension out, flip it around, and wear it backwards, if that's your style. So what if you're cold? You wanna wear your hoodie underneath your hard hat? Well, it's a bad idea. They're not designed for that. They're designed for a positive fit, and when you put a hoodie or a other bulky hats underneath them, it throws off the engineering. You're vulnerable, and you're not compliant with OSHA's regulations. So, if you're cold, we've got plenty of other solutions to help you with that. So, how long can a hard hat stay in service? Uh, just like fall protection, head protection is meant to save your life only once. If it takes an impact, you get rid of it. Also, any hard hat made of high impact plastic, just like this one, is meant to be disposed of after five years. If you're not sure when your hard hat was manufactured, you can find it right here. The year is printed on it and there's an arrow that pointed to the date that it was made. So if your hard hat doesn't have that, you probably don't want to trust your melon to it. Last question, is it a good idea to have a pink hard hat around to give to a visitor or maybe a worker who forgot his hard hat? Absolutely it is. If you have any other questions about this or any other safety concerns, please don't hesitate to get in touch with your industry specialist. Have a great week and stay safe. You're the boss!